Heimer's Q is H28G Evolution Turret. This allows Heimerdinger to place down a turret that hits enemy champions, minions, turrets, and monsters. His turret also has a secondary pass-through beam attack that fires after a certain amount of time. Heimer's W is Hextech Micro Rockets. This allows Heimerdinger to shoot five rockets, either in a spread out pattern or a direct pattern. Heimer's E is CH-2 Electron Storm Grenade. This allows Heimerdinger to throw a grenade in the air at an enemy champion. If it hits directly on top of the enemy, it stuns them, and if it hits near the enemy champion, then it slows them. Heimer's Ultimate is Upgrade. Upgrades allows Heimerdinger to upgrade one of his other abilities. If he uses Upgrade on his Q, it will make a super big turret that does lots more damage than his small ones. If he uses Upgrade on his W, it will make his rockets do much more damage, and it will send out 5 waves of 5 rockets instead of just 1 wave of 5 rockets. If he uses Upgrade on his E, it will make the grenade do much more damage. Also, the grenade will bounce 3 times and stun anyone in the vicinity of it. When using Heimer's Q, you can place down 3 turrets at one time. When placing down turrets, there are 2 patterns I recommend. You can place the turrets in a triangle-like shape, or you can put them in a line. The triangle shape is usually used for normal laning phase when everything is in one small area. The line is usually used when pushing up super far in one lane, just so if you get ganked, the enemies will be constantly getting shot by the turrets as you run back. When using Heimer's W, you can usually use it for either poking or getting the last hit for a kill when an enemy is running away because of its high range. If an enemy is at low health, but not low enough to be killed with your W, then you can use Upgrade on Heimer's W, and use that to kill him. When using Heimer's E, you usually only use it when an enemy is at low health, and is running away, and you want to go in for the kill. Or you can use Upgrade on it, and you can use it in team battles to stun enemies. Or you can use it with Upgrade to start team battles. Did I leave the tridiminium ovulator on? When you first spawn in, the items you will want to buy are just the recommended items. Doran's ring, two health potions, and a warding totem. You won't need wards as much as other champions, because Heimer's turrets will protect you from most ganks, but it's still good to have them for jungle awareness. For your first pack, you usually want to get needlessly large rod and boots of speed. And if you have enough money, you can get Seeker's Arm Guard. But if you don't, you can get it the next back. You want those items because they build into Ziona's Hourglass, and that is Heimer's first crucial item. After your first back, you want to wait until you have enough for Ziona's Hourglass, and then back and get that. After you have Ziona's Hourglass, you want to buy Sorcerer's Shoes and then Haunting Gwees to build into Leandre's Torment. Once you have enough for Leandre's Torment, get that. After you have both Ziona's Hourglass and Leandre's Torment, you have a choice. You can either build towards Rabidon's Death Cap to get more AP, or you can build towards Guardian Angel to get more armor and magic resist. After that, you just buy the one you didn't get before. For example, if you got Robidon's Death Cap, then you get Guardian Angel, and vice versa. The first skill to get is your Q. Heimer's Q is crucial in early game because it helps him push up the lane and it helps get lots of CS. After your Q, you want to get your W and then your E. The E will be the last skill completed. At level 4 through level 18, it should go like this. Level 4 Q, level 5 Q, level 6 Ulti, Level 7 W, Level 8 W, Level 9 W, Level 10 Q, Level 11 Ulti, Level 12 Q, Level 13 W, Level 14 E, Level 15 E, Level 16 Ulti, Level 17 E, Level 18 E. As you're using your skills, don't be afraid to poke with your W a lot, but refrain from using your E unless you are in a team battle or you're going in for a kill. This is because 
his E has a high cooldown time and a high mana cost, so you might not be able to use it when you really need it. For Masteries, you want 24 points in Offense and 6 in Utility. The Masteries will be on the screen right now and also in the description. If you want to write down the Masteries, then pause the video now. For Runes, you want to go for 9 Seals of Health Regen, 9 Marks of Magic Pen, 3 Quints of Ability Power, and 9 Glyphs of Magic Resist. Thank you guys for watching, and before you go, make sure to check out my two buddies' channels. Gaming with BK and Kingfish. The links will be on the screen now and in the description.